Don't worry about the wicked. Don't envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they soon fade away. Like springtime flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence as clear as the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop your anger. Turn from your rage. Do not envy others. It only leads to harm, for the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. In a little while, the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. Those who are gentle and lowly will possess the land. They will live in prosperous security. The wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs, for he sees their day of judgment coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But they will be stabbed through the heart with their own swords, and their bows will be broken. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and possess much. For the strength of the wicked will be shattered, but the Lord takes care of the godly. Day by day, the Lord takes care of the innocent, and they will receive a reward that lasts forever. They will survive through hard times. Even in the famine, they will have more than enough. But the wicked will perish. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in a field. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. Those blessed by the Lord will inherit the land, but those cursed by him will die. The steps of the godly are directed by the Lord. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will not fall. The Lord holds them by the hand. Once I was young, and now I am old. Yet I have never seen the godly forsaken, nor seen their children begging for bread. The godly always give generous loans to others, and their children are a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. He will keep them safe forever, but the children of the wicked will perish. The godly will inherit the land and will live forever. The godly offer good counsel. They know what is right from wrong. They fill their hearts with God's law, so they will never slip from his path. Those who are evil spy on the godly, waiting for an excuse to kill them. But the Lord will not let the wicked succeed, or let the godly be condemned when they are brought before the judge. Don't be impatient for the Lord to act. Travel steadily along his path. He will honor you, giving you the land. You will see the wicked destroyed. I myself have seen it happen. Proud and evil people thriving like mighty trees. But when I looked again, they were gone. Though I searched for them, I could not find them. Look at those who are honest and good. For a wonderful future lies before those who love peace. But the wicked will be destroyed. They have no future. The Lord saves the godly. He is their fortress in times of trouble. The Lord helps them, rescuing them from the wicked. He saves them and they find shelter in him.